I always consider myself a cutting edge surgeon. Anytime there's new technology or anything interesting going on, I always like to get involved in it. And I felt that I needed a way of doing minimally invasive bypass surgery because every other specialty in the world is switching to a minimally invasive approach. So I felt we needed to develop something in cardiac surgery, particularly when it comes to bypassing coronary arteries. It involved sneaking in between the ribs and it involved using very small miniaturized instruments that could move the heart around so that we can achieve bypasses in just about any artery of the heart. We're at the point now where we can apply this technology to just about anybody. We can get them out of the hospital in a couple of days and we can get them back to work or back to their normal life within a week or two of surgery. I woke up from surgery, I had no pain and I noticed color in my hands and I was actually breathing better. In a day or so I was back on my feet and I had nurses escorting me uh, down the hall. Four or five days after surgery we confirmed with Dr. McGinn's office that it was okay for me to drive. Seven or eight days after surgery I was back in my office doing some paperwork and probably about ten days after I was back to work uh, nearly full-time. We've had patients come to the Heart Institute of New York from just about everywhere. We've had patients coming from Brooklyn, Manhattan, New Jersey, Queens, Bronx, Westchester, Long Island, any part of New Jersey. The reason people come here to get the procedure is because this is where it started. We're the people who designed the procedure, we're the people who developed it, we refined it, and we've perfected it. This is the place to be. I was in the right place at the right time. When I was told I needed to have open heart surgery, there really wasn't much of a choice to make because the very best is the Heart Institute of New York. The care is unsurpassed. Um, and I would tell anybody that has to have the surgery, just you know you have to do it and, and literally have no fear because they're there, they really know what they're doing and um, this is the place to be. Taking someone who's on the verge of having a heart attack, doing an innovative procedure, watching them go home two days later to rejoin their family and rejoin their life is without question the most satisfying thing you can ever do. And this I mean from the bottom of my heart. I feel great. Uh, I'm fortunate uh, that uh, I was able to uh, have access to this type of procedure. Uh, I'm, I'm healthier than I've, I've been in 30 years. I'm going back to racquetball, um, my crew is waiting for me and I'll be back there starting next week. Some of the patients that I've done this minimally invasive bypass surgery on are some of the most grateful patients I've ever seen in my 28 career. It's just very, very, very satisfying to me to hear from them, just to hear how they've bounced back into their life so quickly and that to me is what it's all about. I got my life back and I could do things that I never did before and I'm willing to try anything that you hand to me because I don't feel that there's a risk for me to try something that's brand new and it's all thanks to Dr. McGinn.